From Attack on Titans bundle to Mega City changing. Here are 20 updates coming up in Season 2. Please use code SMJM. One of the theme of this season is Rift Events. Ever since the start of this season, we have seen new location appear on the map through various rifts. And we can see that in-game as well right now. This rift island just appears mid-game. Now, the biggest location we got this season is Mega city and it looks like this is not done yet the rift will continue being unpredictable throughout the season and will keep changing the city for example if you look at this map right here you can see addition of a brand new island near mega city according to the leakers it is going to be a dojo location we are also going to see addition of new buildings in the city because in the trailer you can see the city is much bigger than it is in the game right now and according to the leakers the city is going to change on every update Triac Nox who is a brand new character who's going to play a huge part he is one of the three warriors of lost reality this is the second warrior that we are going to see very soon the third warrior a lot of people are suggesting it is Herald and the reason why we think these people work for the lost reality is because of a peace syndicate who is actually the organization controlling mega city right now the boss of that group thunder revealed to us that someone has hacked into the system has erased everything that they have gathered about the lost reality and this was all done during the week one quests and thunder says that this war is bigger than he first thought and to prepare for the this war thunder has been a recruiting he recruited us to the peace syndicate also he's going to need a bunch of strong weapons as well we are talking about this beast in mega city that's right this right here could be the syndicate's strongest weapon now i know this has not been confirmed yet but if you look at the beast carefully you can see these are boosters on its back which is going to allow him to fly and if you look inside of his mouth this thing looks like it shoots like flames he's also got like a machine gun under his eyeball as well i believe during this live event we are going to see this beast come to life and fight the lost reality also if you remember during the kid Leroy concert we got this beast right here who looks very familiar to this beast on top of the building that way they don't really have to reanimate this thing the syndicate Kid will need strong weapons if they want to fight. So expect to see this smart pistol that we saw in the trailer come to Fortnite very soon. Now, this is a smart pistol. It locks onto your enemy and it shoots. I've got some stats right here. Lock on time is 4.4 seconds. Lock on time center is 4 seconds. And it locks onto enemies within 50 meter range. And you have to wait 5 seconds before it locks on again. They're also going to need help from friends as well. And it looks like that help is going to be Akira. Now, if you guys don't know, Akira is a cyberpunk anime show. And the show is based on a futuristic Tokyo City. And obviously, this season is the same theme. Now, this part of the trailer you can see right here was actually a reference to the show. Because this Akira bike is a huge part of the show. Also, we got these two random skins as well and i believe this is a teaser as well because the skins looks very similar to how the bike looks in the show also during this massive live event we are going to get the help characters of star wars we are going to have luke skywalker come to the fortnite map and also we are getting jedi powers as well that's right we will have the ability to push pull create lightning using our mind and a lot more now it looks like before the live event the rift is going to spawn a volcano next to mega city if you go to this spot right next to mega city you can see a hot spring and a geyser right in the middle also sometimes you feel an earthquake when you're around this location and that is because we are getting a volcano right here going back all the way 
you back to chapter three. If you look at this loading screen, you can see volcanoes on the map. We thought we was getting a volcano in chapter three, but we never did. And that was because it was a teaser for this season. Because of this leak, a lot of people are suggesting that this chapter is repeating chapter one, but in reverse. Because chapter one, season 10 was rift related. And chapter one, season nine was futuristic season. That was the season where we got Neo Tilted and Mega Mole. And this chapter in season two is a futuristic season and we got locations similar to Mega Mole, Mega City. What if the volcano is going to show up just before season three during the live event of season two? We all know that season eight of chapter one, we had a volcano. Also, if you look at this image from the trailer, you can see a location in the background does not exist on the map right now and it kind of looks like the base area of a volcano now there's a possibility dr sloan might play a part during this live event because in the file we have this skin of dr sloan and we all know that she did not get eliminated during that live event because she went inside of the tank brand new augments are coming to the game as well you will have the ability to grab a flint knock pistol or charge shotgun aquatic warrior augment will increase speed in water and heal you as well and an augment that will grant you shadow tracker when a rail grinding you will heal up to 100 hp and 50 shield and a lot more now this new version of alexa skin is coming to the game very soon i'm guessing she's going to be part of the peace syndicate also this skin has been voted skin that most people want in the game when they did a survey in Fortnite.gg. Now, first person mode was guaranteed to be in this a season. But for some reason, it never showed up. Now we know why that is. It's because of these skins. Obviously, Fortnite has a bunch of skins that are too massive or they have like really crazy pickaxe like Venom, for example. And these skins were looking really stupid in first person. But Fortnite had to fix all that to make it look good in game. And I'm guessing if they fix all of these bugs, they will add first person mode in game. Now, most likely when we get the Attack on Titans update, we are going to get not just Aaron Jaeger skin, but a bunch of other characters in the item shop as well. For example, Captain Levi. And most likely we are going to get Titan bundle in the item shop as well. Like Aaron Jaeger Titan, Armored Titan. Please like, subscribe and use code SMJ and help me out. My name is Sam Jam. I love you fams. Peace out.